Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today we've got an exciting trip coming up. We are exploring Kansas City. Our flight is around 3 p.m. and we're flying out of LaGuardia because the prices were cheaper. Parking was about $30 a day, so we're ready to go, excited to figure out good food to eat and places to explore. So come along with us and let's see what we get up to. LaGuardia after the 2022 remodeling is beautiful. That's why I wanted to put this clip because I just thought this airport was stunning. So yesterday we got in around 6 and we're staying at the Westin which is really nice. I love that it's basically in a mall and in this mall there is an aquarium and apparently a Legoland so we're definitely going to explore that and see what else there is right here that we can walk through without even having to go outside. Um, and then outside there's an ice skating rink out in front of us, there's definitely museums right around us and we were able to walk to dinner yesterday at this barbecue joint and I have to be honest that if you are vegetarian I cannot recommend it for you but if you eat meat and even if you eat fish like I do highly recommend it was so good the appetizers we got cornbread and onion rings were delicious and my salmon salad which you think like salmon salad at a barbecue place what but it was one of their like chef specialties um you know like the ones that they put a little symbol to kind of let you know like highly rated you should definitely try this so i was really excited because everyone else loved the meat so if you love me you will love that place and the vibe is really cool so highly recommend we're gonna go get some coffee now to start the day All right, so while I truthfully did not work out on this vacation, as we were there for a limited time and for my cousin's wedding, they have a really comprehensive gym there and you know this channel is all about balance. So if you wanna squeeze in a workout or even just do some cardio, then you've got equipment here. However, you'll probably be walking around a lot. There is also a pool, great for the summer, and even a tennis court. So if that's your thing, then get out there and get moving. Going in, I had no idea how big Crown Center is, but it is filled with so many different restaurants. We literally could have eaten here all weekend. And there's a movie theater, I'm gonna show you later, Legoland and an aquarium. This was all started by the founder of Hallmark and there's even an exhibit for that, which you will see later.
you can see, I was a little bit obsessed with this rooftop. I think that this is definitely a must hit coffee spot because you can go to any of the three levels. So if you wanna focus, you can go to the second floor and just work, or you can go all the way to the top. Also, I can't recommend enough just walking around the city to get where you wanna go because there is so much street art, it's really beautiful. This is a really cool spot if you want something to eat or to go out at night. They had pizza, wings, wraps, fried chicken, Indian fusion, Mediterranean, nachos, burgers, and so much more. So definitely a great option and really cool views too. back at Crown Center so here you can see that they're just putting up the Christmas tree which I'm sure would look beautiful with it all lit up there's also ice skating if you're daring enough and we went to the aquarium there was also Legoland so you could do both or choose one I have to definitely edit out a lot of the fish clip that I took because I had a really good time it was really fun you could even touch the fish at one exhibit right here. to the Hallmark Visitor Center, which was actually really interesting to learn more about the history of Hallmark. My dad is a huge fan of Hallmark Christmas movies, so we had to go to this exhibit, and it's free, which is a huge perk, and they even had a video, because I'm much more of like a sit me down, tell me what's going on type of person. So it was really helpful for me to not have to just sit there and read everything, but to have it all in a concise video format.
honestly feel like we've had such a good itinerary today. We started off at a really cute uh, coffee shop, cafe type thing for breakfast and coffee. Then we went over to the museum and then by the time we were done with that, we were ready for some more food. We walked through one place which would be really cool. I think maybe in like the afternoon if you wanted drinks but we wanted something a little bit healthier and the lunch that we had really hit the spot. It felt so fresh and came really fast and was pretty affordable. And then we came back to where our hotel is. I think it's called like Crown Center. They had ice skating. I didn't do it, but my brother and his wife did. And we went to the aquarium, which was so cool. They have Legoland there as well. After we went through the Hallmark experience, which was so cool to see. And um, now we're getting ready for drinks at the light district something like that and then we're going to dinner so really excited it's been a busy day but i feel like if you're trying to do kansas city in minimal time all of the things we did today are great ideas and you can walk between it all the city was pretty dead in the morning we didn't really see a lot of other people but very walkable city Saturday, so we're getting ready for another exciting today. Today is a wedding day for my cousin. Unfortunately, because I'm a teacher and grades are due Monday, I'm going to go and find a coffee shop and finish up grading, get those done. But yesterday, I feel like our day was perfect. If you had 24 hours in Kansas City, I couldn't recommend enough the itinerary that we had. And hopefully today I'll get to do a little bit more exploring after grading, but the restaurant last night was so cool, right inside of Union Station. Um, very cool, love that it was set up for Christmas. The whole station was so big and beautiful. You should definitely visit. And then we did drinks before that at the Power and Light District. Definitely an area that you want to check out. Lots of bars. I feel like if there was a sports game, it would have been uh, really exciting. Very family friendly though. Lots of kids even in the, the bar type areas. They also had the circus there yesterday. So they have a huge event center that's right across from it. So make sure to check that out, see what's happening in town that week. And um, anything else? They have a little tram type thing that will take you up and down through many of the main parts of Kansas City for free. So it was also fun to ride. So we are wedding ready. Today was really fun. It is Veterans Day. So we went to the World War I Memorial, which was very cool, very close to the hotel as well. Very convenient. You can go all the way up in the tower. 
um, which was a $3 additional to the entrance ticket. And you have a beautiful view of the city. Anthony's getting ready in the background. Um, and the, the memorial was very cool. There's videos and everything and lots of artifacts. And then we couldn't decide what to do for lunch. We kind of wanted to go into the Kansas side, but we couldn't find anything great. So we ended up going to City Market. So seeing another area, we were on a little bit of a time crunch and the place that I wanted to go to was I guess permanently closed. So we ended up going to Opera House and it was all right. Um, I feel like I messed up on my order. I should have done, they had a smoothie section. Should have done that with a panini because I love paninis, but it's okay. Food was all right. We got back in time. We are ready and I don't know. We'll see if we have time to do anything else. Maybe a little exploring in the morning before we leave. Alright, so we are unfortunately getting ready to leave. I didn't get that much footage from last night, but I just wanted to kind of summarize our thoughts. So overall, I actually enjoyed Kansas City a lot more than I thought, and there is a lot more to do than I thought. Um, the city is definitely very like walkable, the parts at least that we went to, um, parts to go to. So Power and Light, definitely check that out. The a market that we went to yesterday, City Market, if you're into shopping, that would be great. The Crown Center, Crown Plaza, basically where the Westin is, with the Sea World or whatever aquarium um, and the Hallmark Experience that has a lot of shopping and in the winter, the ice skating. So definitely would check out this area if you love shopping or you just wanna do Legoland or um, an aquarium. Um, 18th and Vine was very cool. And there were some other museums that we didn't get to go to, especially art museums. So if you're staying for a little bit longer, those would be some additional things to check out. If not, then where we went, I highly would recommend all of the areas that we went to. Uh, there's a lot of cool artwork, so I will leave that in the description box where exactly a lot of the murals are because that's very cool to check out. Um, overall, hope this was helpful. Um, hope it gives you some ideas if you're going to Kansas City. Any last words, Anthony? Go to Legoland. Go to Legoland. All right, that is where we're going to leave off. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you've ever been to Kansas City or what you wanna do when you go. Catch you in the next one.